All right, guys, we are here taking a look at Batman Arkham City. I'm going to give you some thoughts, break the game down into a couple different ways um, on why this is easily one of the best games this year. This is obviously the follow-up to Arkham Asylum. And similar to Arkham Asylum, you always feel like Batman in this game. And that's why these games are so great and so much fun that Rocksteady has really nailed the look, the feel, the way Batman handles. You could be standing still, you can be fighting, you could be flying through the air. You, you just always feel like such a badass. And other developers should take note that this is how you make a superhero game, and this is how you make a badass game in general. And by badass, I'm putting quotations over that. You know, if I want to have a main character that feels like a badass, this is, should be the archetype. So here we're taking a look at the city. We're just flying around. Flying around is a blast. Um, it's very e It's a little awkward at first, but once you get used to how you use your grapple, and once you level up some of your uh, suit options, you're going to find yourself zipping around the city. You're flying. You're grappling. You're getting from point A to point B very quickly. One of the best things they did was they improved Detective Vision. And by improving it, you actually use it less, and that's why it's better. In Arkham Asylum, you always had it on because it almost made sense not to have it on. Well, here, you can see the fidelity of the graphics. Everything gets darkened. You can see the, the, the people. You can see who's talking, but that's it. Now we're outside. One key thing is that when we're outside in the city, I don't get my map marker, which is leading me where I need to go next and letting me know. So I want to have Detective Vision off so I can see that. That is a good thing. Um, we're going to take a look at combat. Combat is the backbone of this game. It's the backbone of both of the games. It's absolutely fantastic. It's so rewarding. Um, it's very easy to get. You can button mash and kind of get the hang of it. But once you start learning the timing, the extra gadgets that they've included, you really start to find a deeper combat system here, which is so much fun to play with. And it's why it's made their other modes a lot of fun to play with. Their combat rooms and their campaign rooms um, are just so much fun with this combat system they have in place. Um, it is a little weird sometimes. You do kind of slide from character to character. But at the end of the day, it keeps the combo going. And you just you always feel like Batman, and you're not having to press 60 buttons at once to make it happen. Um, the other part to this would be the predator system, um, which again really helps with your pacing of the game. And great developers do a great job pacing the game. So here we want a little break of that. We're doing a little platforming. I put a little freeze bomb down to make a platform in the water. Now I'm going to traverse around the uh, building here. So you, there you see there's still some of these elements. These are exactly the same as Arkham Asylum. Um, where you're kind of working your way around. So there is some platforming there to change things up. And then we're going to go into a room here and we're going to do a little predator stuff. You know, I don't want to take on 50 guys at once. I want to use the detective vision as it's supposed to be used, which is just for tactical um, advantage. And then, you know, let me take guys out one by one and kind of be Batman and come from the shadows. And uh, again, this is why the pacing of the game is so great by Rocksteady. So here we take out one guy. We're going to go up to the rafters. We'll put this detective vision on. And let's uh, take a look around the room and see exactly what's going on here. All right, so we'll throw the detective vision on. I can assess where everyone is. If I see some guy that's kind of off by himself a little bit, then I can swoop down and, uh, and take him out. Head back to the rafters and do it again. So again, fantastic with the Predator stuff. Switching gears a little, let's take a look at the detective stuff. The He'll detective kill vision you for this bad man. The detective vision basically makes me feel like the game Condemned, a, a criminal origins, where you had a button press to do some CSI type stuff, which you can see I'm doing here. But it's not a mini game, and it's the not the really a game here. to it. Now, where did it enter the room? So you can see it's just literally holding a button down. And that's the detective stuff. The trajectory but it's neat. the bullet traveled will lead me to the shooter. It's neat because it changes the pace. It's 30 seconds out of the game and it changes things up a little. So one thing I will talk about here is we're going to see some story stuff. Um, this is actually a side quest that uh, involves Zaz. We remember him from Arkham Asylum. 
the story is really good, except in, in a couple places where it, it really just falls flat. And it's with Mr. Freeze and Bane in particular. Here you can see Bane, where literally you're fighting to the death with him one minute, you turn around and then you're doing favors for him. Or you're doing favors for him and then you decide you're going to fight to the death. It doesn't make any sense. You were my, more, you know, my enemy and now all of a sudden we're best friends, even though you're just about to kill me. Very stupid. Other than that though, the story is fantastic. The Joker is amazing. The voice acting is fantastic. Just watching the Joker alone is so amazing. I mean, they nailed, 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 nailed uh, the Joker character. Um, switching gears into some of the side stuff you can do, it, it is kind of like Grand Theft Auto, where you've got side stuff. It's not as big as that, of course, but here you can see the map. You can scroll to different uh, map markers. You've got different things going on. One thing in particular they have is not only side missions, but here you've got um, a flying mini game a little bit. So you'll see that when you activate it, you actually will have green uh, circles that you've got to fly through. So the side stuff is really nice, and again, not to beat a dead horse here, but the pacing, because if you want to break from the story, you can go do side stuff. If you want to break from the side stuff, you can go back to the main story. There's so much to do in here. Um, the only thing is, I think they overdid it with the Riddler stuff. There are times when you first start the game where there's just Riddler stuff everywhere. Hopefully the keys are down there, deep in the pockets of those tiger guards. I did want to... Um, bring the Catwoman stuff into play here. The Catwoman is quick. fantastic. One wrong move and the fail safes will trigger, and that vault will be locked down permanently. Here is a great gameplay mechanic of we're not killing Protocol anyone, we're just sneaking up behind them to get their minutes. cards, security cards, and it's such a neat little thing. Bam, back on the ceiling, stealthing around. How cool. How much fun. She's got four story missions. They're five to ten minutes each. They're not that long. They're the perfect change of pace, the perfect break. Uh, ultimately, you always want to play as Batman, but when you get to play as Catwoman, she feels just like a badass as well. She's a little more quick, or a little quicker, a little more agile. She's not quite as tough as Batman. Um, we'll see her in the combat over the second here, and it gives you a good idea of what she's like. Um, here, we're taking a look at her just going through the city. I don't know why the other characters can't do this. Nightwing should be able to do this the other characters should be able to do this. Um, you see here she doesn't have a cape like Batman but she's got this whip. She uses the whip to get to the buildings. She's using her cat abilities to jump all around the buildings. So once you get used to that, again, you're whipping all over the city and it's just a great, great thing that they added. I really am excited about what they did with Catwoman. So as I mentioned before, here's the combat room. Um, this combat room is you know, you have a ton of combat rooms that are like this. They put X number of enemies in there with all sorts of different um, weapons and diff uh, levels of difficulty. Of course, you can play as Batman, Robin, Catwoman, Nightwing, um, and it's basically going into a room like this. Uh, you can see from her that she is quite a bit quicker and more agile uh, than Batman. It's like your luck's run out, Batman. So that's it, guys. If I had to give it a score I out of 5, it. I'd give it a 4.5. Go play this game. It is absolutely fantastic. Go play this game. Thank you.